Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the Interbubs! This is Red Dog coming at you from just outside the Witch's Cave in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. In the previous episode, we were making our very first brewing stand, and in this episode, guys, we are going to be making our very first weakness potion, as well as heading back to the gold nugget farm in the nether to, to try and collect some gold nuggets, because we need to craft the final piece of this puzzle, and that is a golden apple. But guys, today we're going to do a little bit something special, because we're not just going to be sitting in a minecart collecting those golden nuggets. Oh no, guys! We are going to be trying to figure out an automatic way to collect those gold nuggets, and tons and and tons of cyber dogs on dogcraft.net as well as in the comment sections below of my videos have told me that I could use a hopper cart to collect the gold nuggets automatically so today we're going to be playing around with a hopper cart in the nether in the gold nugget farm so guys this is going to be a freaking sweet ass episode man I hope you got your popcorn I hope you have your tasty beverage sit back relax and let's get busy getting freaking busy my people so guys, in the previous episode, we created this really epic looking brewing stand over here. And what we need to do, guys, let's just remind ourselves of what we're doing here. We are trying to cure an infected villager that is hopefully going to spawn in the butthole. And to do that, we need a weakness potion and we need a golden apple. Now, we have made all the stuff that we need um, to actually make the weakness potions. But now what we need to do is actually get the ingredients going. So we've got our water bottles in here, right? Now, I've had a look at the recipe for a weakness weakness potion and what we need to do is get a fermented spider eye up in this brewing stand so it sounds complicated my, my friends but it's actually not too bad so to make a fermented spider eye all we need is well obviously a normal spider eye we need some sugar um, not sugar cane we actually need some sugar and we need some mushrooms and uh, this is going to help us to make a fermented spider eye so let's turn this sugar cane into sugar and um Sugar, <laughs> man, I, I, for some reason I like saying that word, sugar. Um, and now guys, we can make um, a fermented spider eye. So what we need to do is place our spider eye up in that jazz and our sugar up in that jazz. And then I do believe that if we put our mushroom over here, there we will get a fermented spider eye. Man, that texture looks awesome. Absolutely revolting, I must say. Now, um, I, I do believe now if we place the fermented spider eye up into this brewing stand like this, Oh man, look at that. That is awesome. Okay, so it is brewing right now. Well, I think it's brewing. Okay, there's the there's the countdown timer. It looks like there is the countdown timer to brewification. It's like making a cup of tea, man. I'm going to let leave my kettle to boil. I want to go check out the butthole to see if we have got an infected villager. Hold your freaking thumbs, cyber dogs, because we need an infected villager in this butthole so badly. Um, as you can see, I've been grinding the butthole on level 28, and uh, hopefully we will have an infected villager in the butthole today. Let's have a look um let's just kill off a couple oh wait there there's one guys there look he's got his no 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 Ooh, damn look that is an infected villager right there he's got like um like a, a a cloth on his head i'm pretty sure that that is an infected villager because all the other other um zombies don't look like that guys we have this we have our infected villager right there okay all right guys this is our this is our chance this is our chance to isolate him so let's kill all the mobs around the infected villager please do not move into the into my arrow infected villager please spider get out of my freaking life man you are messing with my jazz take it to the spider ass okay there's our infected villager okay our plan is working guys right let's drop him down into the curing pit Let's hope that he survived. Let's get down there. Let's see if he's actually survived that fall. I can't believe it, guys. We, we actually have an infected villager. We've managed to isolate an infected villager. All we need now is a golden apple to cure this infected villager. And that means we're going to be able to, to give birth to the mayor. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. Okay, let's go, let's have a look in the curing pit. Um, he's in there. He has survived the fall. All right. Now, listen here, buddy. You need to stay in here for a while. I need to go to the nether to go get some nuggets. You are, you can't go anywhere. Just chill in there with your string. I know, I, I mean, you know, make some some patterns with that string. I'm sure your mama taught you how to make patterns with string. So get busy doing that, man. I will be back really soon. I mean, and your house is waiting for you. Look at it, man. It is waiting. The fireplace is lit. There's food in the cupboards. Um, oh, man. You are... Oops, I just trampled some of your crops. My bad. Um, but we will be back, Infected Villager. Please, 
please do not despawn. Okay, let's head back into the Witch's Cave. Let's have a look um, if we've got our weakness potions brewed. Let's have a look. Potion of weakness. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so one fermented spider eye made three potions of weakness. That is freaking awesome. Okay, so we've got our potions of weakness, guys. This means all we need to do now is head to the nether. And uh, that means that we need to get our armor on because I'm not going into the nether wearing our construction. Uh, basically, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to the nether wearing our construction gear, man. That is just not going to be smart. So let's put our construction gear down into our um, cupboard and let's pick up what we need for the nether let's get pimped out oh man breastplate of the dog um looking good protection three fire protection four protection three we are definitely not going to die um in the nether now what we need to do before we actually go to the nether and here's here there's a chest in here actually and we do need to use this chest what we need to craft guys is a hopper cart and uh, basically, for those of you guys who don't know what a hopper cart is, a hopper is a new um, block added in Minecraft 1. Point, I do believe it is 1.4, although I could be wrong. I'm sure um, a cyber dog out there will correct me if I'm wrong. But what a hopper does is you can put items into it and then it will feed those items into a chest. You can also add a hopper to um, a minecart and then I do believe according to you cyber dogs from what you have told me um, the hopper can, if it goes on tracks will pick up items um, will actually pick up items that it, it goes near to you so it's kind of it'll kind of like suck them up into itself um, so to make these hopper carts we need to make uh, mine carts, which we need iron for, and we need to make chests. So we've got both of those guys. That means we can now head into the nether. Let's get our anti-ghast weapon um, attached. Of course, that is none other than Rambo, our loyal and very, very powerful friend. The, the ghast killer is basically what Rambo is, man. And uh, let's check if our ghast farm has spawned any ghast. No. Okay. Thank goodness for that. Um, right. Let's head over to the gold nugget farm, guys. We haven't been there in a while. Let's just keep our wits about us, though. We do not want to die right now. We've got our full set of armor on. We've got Fang for some reason. We've got Paw and we've got Rambo with us. I probably shouldn't be bringing these items with me, but you know what? Um, I'm, I live on the edge, man. I'm, I'm a dangerous. I'm a dangerous kind of guy. Um, I'm gonna live on the edge. Oh God! I'm having second thoughts, man. Why are there so many pigmen here? Um, that is not good. Um, okay, let's see if we can make. This is like the run of doom. I just heard it. I just heard a ghast make his horrible noise. Oh God. Go, go, go. Safety, safety is right ahead. Oh man, that is awesome. Okay, great, we are safe. We are in the gold nugget spawner. For those of you guys who have just joined us, this is a gold nugget spawner. So the idea is that pigmen spawn up here on these spawning platforms. They then walk and fall through these trapdoors to their death. And then in the old version, we used to sit in a minecart and travel around this automatic automatic powered railway line to collect the gold nuggets that they drop. Now in the new version, what we are gonna be doing is um, using a hopper cart to collect those gold nuggets. And hopefully it's gonna work. Let's head over to the crafting table here in the gold nugget um, farm. And what we first need to do is make a couple of mine carts. So there is one in the belly and uh, there is another in the belly. And what we need to do is now turn these mine carts into hopper carts. So how do we make a hopper? Well, a hopper looks a little something like this. Um, now I checked the wiki for this recipe. I wish I just knew it off the top of my head, just, just like a bouse, but unfortunately um, I didn't. So I've checked the recipe for the hopper and this is how you make it. And there it is. It kind of looks like a, a funnel or something like that. That looks awesome. So let's get that hopper in our belly. Now all we need to do is make our hopper carts using our mine carts. There's one mine, mine cart with hopper. Two minecarts with hopper. That is so sweet. Oh man, this is epic. Okay, so what we need to do now, guys, is get these hoppers traveling around our gold nugget farm automatically, one after each other. Um, and I think what I'm going to do to do that is break the slabbage a bit, just to open it up a bit. Um, and what we'll do is place one hopper, send it on its way, and then place the next hopper directly after it. So um, they'll be chasing each other, basically. Let's go all the way to the next um, power pad over here on the railway network. There it is. Okay, great. So let's do this, guys. Let's get our hoppers ready and uh, let's send them around and around and let's see if they're actually going to collect these nuggets. So there's the first nugget over there that hopefully the hopper is going to collect. So let's place our hopper and let's give it a little bit of a push 
And there it goes. And it sucked up the nugget. That is awesome. And then this one's going to follow just shortly after that. And um, what we could... And then we'll add the slabbage back again. I was just thinking maybe we could remove the slabbage now. But then what could happen is a pigman could fall on the hopper itself. And then what that would do is actually stop the hopper or send it in the other direction. And then eventually the hoppers would collide with each other. And that would be the end of our automatic gold nugget collecting um, machine. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. But the hoppers should be traveling around now, chasing each other. Let's see if we can actually track them down. There goes the first one. Um, the second one, or was that the second one? There they go. Look, they're traveling around at full pace. That is awesome. Um, didn't collect that nugget, though, unfortunately, for some reason. Maybe it just wasn't in the right spot. Um, okay, so they, it, they definitely don't collect all of the nuggets, unfortunately. What we might have to do is actually make the railways lines run right next to each other so there's, there isn't this gap between them. Um, but that's going to be some optimization that we might have to do off camera or do for dog mail or something like that. But um, I'm pretty happy with this. What I want to do is try and open one of these hoppers to see if they are actually collecting these nuggets. Um, we've saw, I saw one of those nuggets disappear so I assume that it is working. And uh, we have Pikmin falling from the sky and I don't see any of their loots around here. Right, where, where are they? Okay, there they go. Oh, oh my goodness, the one behind the first one is actually catching up with the other one. Let's see if we can open one. No, we couldn't open them, unfortunately. Um, so there they go. They're going to start their loop once again. I think what we're going to have to do is try and figure out a way to stop them. Um, because it doesn't look like we can open them when they're traveling around the circuit. Let's see. Uh, nope, couldn't open that one. So it looks like um, the other hopper actually ran into the back of the first hopper. And... Um, I guess I pushed them at different speeds. This is probably why um, this one ran into the back of the other one. But I've just started it again. Hopefully, they will reach some sort of synchronization where they'll be traveling without, um, you know, without bumping into each other, without stopping each other. Maybe I let them go too closely together there um, when I first uh, set them up there. But it looks like they are sucking up. They're also sucking up um, this these zombie bones over here which obviously isn't optimal we want them to just suck up nuggets and i think the way that we should do that is maybe fill the hoppers with nuggets and then that there won't be any space um, for them to collect any zombie bits so i think what i'm going to do is make a break in the track here to try and stop these um, these hoppers as they come around the circuit and uh, what we'll then do is set up the um the hoppers to only take gold nuggets so let's make a little break here and wait for the the um hopper carts to go all the way around the circuit and uh we'll pick them up again once they've gone all the way around the circuit and come and ramp off over here into this little space here we'll then be able to open up have a have a look at what a hopper cart looks like open and i will we'll also get to see how many gold nuggets it's picked up um and man this is awesome and what i'm wondering is is this actually going to work when I'm not in the nether can I actually just leave it to run and will the you know will it still will the nether still exist um, when I'm out of it or, or will you know pigmen only spawn when I come down into the nether I have no idea uh, maybe one of you cyber dogs can enlighten me um, to the, the answer to that question that would be awesome if I could just leave the hoppers to run um, and then come back every few days or so and then you know they'll just be filled up with gold nuggets and that means we'll get really close to finally finishing off granny dogs monument because um, you know we need as much gold as we can get so here is the first hopper cart right let's open him up and have a look okay so he's got seven gold nuggets that's not bad and he's got some rotten flesh so um my theory is going to work right if we place gold nuggets like this in each of his open slots he is not going to be able to pick up rotten flesh and uh no that this one's got to stop oh goodness okay um let's pick up the the hopper cart though um and that one is going to go all the way back around unfortunately so we're going to have to waylay him uh, at some point no <laughs> it just missed him um right let's waylay him over here we got to move fast Bam! <laughs> you have been waylaid by Red Dog. Um, okay, so he picked up the stone slabbage. It looks like the, the hopper cart that was traveling in front of him did all the work and picked up most of the loots before he did. All right, so let's just fix the damage over here and let's go all the way back to the start and reconfigure these hopper carts so that they actually work optimally in our gold nugget farm. We'll add gold nuggets to them before we push them off and that is going to um, mean that um, you know, they, they are only going to collect gold nuggets. They're going to ignore the zombie flesh. 
vampire. We do not want that zombie flesh. The only thing it's good for is feeding our dogs. And you know what? Our dogs get more than enough food, man. They are fat little bastards. And they do not deserve any more food than they already get from the mobile, man. Seriously. Freaking leeches. They don't even protect me from creepers or anything, man. They just, they're lazy. Lazy ass dogs, man. Um, but guys, let's go all the way back to the beginning of the circuit. We're going to have to remake our hopper carts, it looks like it. Looks like if you break them, they separate into cart, mi a mine cart and a hopper again. So we'll just have to remake our hopper carts once more. And uh, let's do exactly what we did last time. We're going to be launching them from this location over here. I actually fixed it incorrectly, it looks like it. So um, it's probably a good thing that we're starting again. So let's get our first hopper cart onto the track. He's going to sit over here. Now we're going to configure him to only collect gold nuggets. So there we go. And uh, let's give him a shove off. And then the second hopper cart, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Only collect gold nuggets, please, my friend. And uh, we'll just wait for this one to come past us and go maybe one more circuit so that he doesn't just pick up all the gold nuggets. That this guy also gets a chance to pick up the gold nuggets. So we'll send that guy on his way. Let's patch up... Um, Let's patch up the track over here. And now our hoppers should be traveling around at optimal speed, collecting gold nuggets only. And that, my friends, is what awesome looks like. Um, I am so freaking stoked with this, man. We have just pimped out um, our our gold nugget farm. We've taken it from having to having to basically go AFK, um, sitting in a minecart, to letting the hoppers do all the hard work for us, uh, which is absolutely awesome. So I am so freaking stoked about that, man. Um, now, what we need to do is collect a whole bunch of gold nuggets and then head back to the mole hole and find ourselves an apple. And we'll be able to use that apple to create a golden apple, which is the second part of the recipe to cure that infected villager that is currently sitting in the butthole, man. This is so freaking epic, guys. Uh, I mean, what can I say? You freaking, you know, give me a freaking high five, man. Damn, this is so epic. Um, let me know, guys, if, you know, what What do you think about all of this jazz that's happening right now? Um, let me know in the comment section below. I, I would love to get your opinion of um, everything that's been going on in the series at the moment. You know, I think uh, everything is going really sweetly. I'm so freaking stoked, guys. But I'm going to allow this these hopper carts to do their business. I'll probably just hang around here for the next half an hour or so. Let them collect as many gold nuggets as humanly possible. And in the next episode, guys, we're going to be returning to the mole hole to cure that infected villager. And hopefully that infected villager is going to take his ass straight to his new home in the butler's quarters. And we will have ourselves a mole hole butler. Oh my goodness, that is going to be so epic. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do, man. You hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, man. We are about to make a brand new butler. Our very first NPC in the mole hole in Mole City in our freaking population of awesome. Guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. We, we will see you in the next video, my friends. Goodbye.